we are live. Hey, hey, hey. This is the Sparkle of Creativity show with Shahar Boyayan on Mondo Market TV. And today we have another fantastic episode. We're going to create super, super, super cute itty bitty teddy bears. And you're gonna see how fun they are to create. But before we do that, don't forget, let me get some house cleaning items out of the way. Don't forget that, hey, this is more fun with more friends. So share and let folks know that we're live right now. Uh, remember, this is, this is your, your moment to just chill and enjoy the time with friends. So do share. The best viewing experience is on our website, Mondo Market TV. On there, you can watch the, the show and you can chat, interact in the chat right below it. But we are monitoring YouTube and Facebook as well. So wherever you like to, to watch and enjoy this, uh, do it there and share and comment wherever you're watching and uh, participate in the conversation. Do we have a drawing that we're doing? Uh, we don't, but we can. All what right. about one of the teddy bears? How about one of the teddies? Yes. Okay, so a lucky person is going to get one of these teddies. And the way that you get entered to win is by liking, commenting, and sharing the video where you're watching. Like, comment, and share, and you'll be entered to win, and I'll announce a lucky winner at the end of the day today. All right, Shahar. Very lucky winner. I can't stop Very. making this. It's addicting, isn't it? Uh-huh. Totally Are you guys sharing? Do you like teddy bears? I love teddy bears. You love teddy bears? Mm -hmm. I like them too. Actually, I, li I like bears. bears. In yes, yes, exactly. Okay, guys, prepare to have fun. I want to finish this little hat that I was making as an example for you. But a few weeks ago, we did a show where we created teddy bears with pipe cleaners. Do you remember that? It was super fun. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed that, and I know of some people actually that they, they went to bazaars, they created a bunch of them and, and sold. So today we are also going to make teddy bears with pipe cleaners, but a little different, more, uh, let's say it's a little more advanced. It's a different technique. And, well, yeah, a different technique, but the, it's a little bit more intricate than the first ones we did. A little more detailed. Yes. Ah, I know. Ah. A little more sophisticated. Sophisticated. Yes. Yeah. So, do you want to show some of the ones we did last time? So these totally. are these are my my leftovers from actually. From last time, you said. From last time. Okay. And why? Then you don't need to to show Kay. one by one. But, oh, but look. Remember, I told you I created really dozens and dozens of them, and yes. I live in places. We actually did this twice today. So these are the ones I still have. And they're cute. They're super cute. And it was a lot of fun to make. And they're very fast to make, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, if you missed, you, you just go and look at the other episodes of Mondo Market TV because we have that there so you can revisit and make them. But today is a different one. Not only the technique is different, the size is also different. This is really, really, really a miniature. So would you mind comparing these two together? Absolutely. Okay, so there you go. Here's this guy. You can see him here. He's Big, right? I mean, oh, he's, big guy. He's, he's like two inches, would you say? No, not too big, not no, fat though, look just at big. This little guy. Oh, hi, 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 oh, hey, Papa, you fell. Oh, oh I fell too, Papa. <laughs> but look at that. Okay. Look how different, and right? And small difference in size, but also in cuteness. Yes, because then let's put some of the others. Uh, not would with you this like guy. Papa this guy to can go be. Away? Papa, go. Oh, oh, <laughs> be, be nice to me, Nashla. All right, look okay. at these little guys. So, see, so there is a lot smaller, so they are real miniatures. But if you take a look, you are going to see that you don't see right away that they are pipe cleaners. And no. that's the beauty. They don't look like pipe cleaners at all. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, if you combine this, this one I made a second ago. Which we one? also have this little guy, the dark blue one. We also have this guy right here. Look. Is he cute or what? Yeah. See? He's cute. He's so they, they, the way you make them, and we are going to show you how, it will allow them to really not be perceived as just a pipe cleaning, pipe cleaner thing. Why? Let's suppose you are selling, right? So we mentioned the last time that you could sell this for 10 bucks, 15 bucks if you put some ribbons and stuff for that. Well, now we are talking a lot more here. 
because it becomes a miniature and you can dress them up. So I did some very uh, basic dressing for, for my guys here. So this one, I just put kind of a scarf. Let's suppose it is winter and he goes, oh, I like to get my oh, tea, tea and I like chilly. to have my scarf. And look him from the side, I've got a tummy. Oh yeah, I'm so cute. My little the other one has kind of a, a tie, right? Which the, one? The one that fell. Fell? Fell. 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 There we go. Here, let's move them all so you can see it better. Look at this little guy right here. The little guy. Yeah, so this one. And you are seeing, we are going to show you, it has uh, some more variations in color. And I'll, I'll show you how to do the post as well. So and then we have this I love one here. This one. She's, Chase she said that uh, she looks like a mafia really? kind of lady. <laughs> I feel like... Doo -doo 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 like the 40s? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, yeah, I love her little hat. Let's see. And this what one else? you gave... Uh... Just, just a ribbon and, you know, like a... Oh, my scarf. I look so fancy today. How about this one? And he this. has a little, like oh, he looks like a little painter. Si, comment ça va? <laughs> Bonjour, mon ami. See? <laughs> yes. So th these are very, very simple uh, clothing. But remember, uh, I'm going to show what I did. Then you're going to see that you can create a, a lot more. You can fully dress them all the time. Hey, you didn't show my panda. Ooh. Oh, and we made a panda a as panda. well. Same technique. There is a slight variation. If we have time, I will panda. show you. Look at how cute he is. Yeah? Isn't Hi, cleaners. Can you believe it? Yeah. It's Look. amazing what you can do. By the way, Mirna says, Que bello. Saludos. Yes. Uh, Noemi says, Ha, ah, cute. Yeah. Yes. Linda Williamson, welcome back. Hey, Linda. Back. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do it. Char. Show Kay. us how to do this. I'm still working on this one. Okay, so what do you need first? You need pipe cleaners. I'm going to be uh, using a light color so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and it's a nice color. You need uh, something to cut the pipe cleaners. Anything will do, they're easy to cut. I'm also using, and if you have, you want a needle felting foam with a needle felting needle. Okay, I'm using the one that has a handle, so it's easier on my hands. I do a lot of needle felting, so I need to, to be aware of very repetitive movement, especially when I'm, you know, just holding something tiny. So, for example, if I use this one all the time, which is very good too, but I'm, my hands are always like this, and over time, if you have a tendency to arthritis or... Uh, you know, carpal tunnel, it gets in the way. So one with a handle makes your life easier. So that's basic. Oh, and a little bit of wool because we are going to be making the paws. I have seed beads for the eyes and the nose. Uh, mine are size 11. And I have a metallic dark bronze here, but a black one would work just as fine. Uh, you can also, if you want, and, and then is the time that you want to invest, if you're going to sell, or the price point you're going to sell, you might want to have some embroidery floss to make the nose instead of just putting a bead there. Of course, it increases the value from the get-go, and also it makes the bear even prettier, okay? But here, for the sake of time, we are going to be using uh, the beads. And I have with me my best friend here. They are pants that oh, we are going fun. to use to create some shadows. What I like about is the artist, uh, what's the name here? Artists. Watercolor dual pants. So you're going to see not only I have one like a normal pan, I have another one that is like a, this is like a normal pan, this is like a brush, and I can shade them, and if I wet that, I can have that color spreading. So they're really cool pants to use. Do you have to use those? No. You can use any type of Sharpie or things that you have around. And I, I'm going to be using a needle. I use this needle too a lot when I do the pipe cleaning, like really all the time. And I'm using a pair of, uh, how do you call this? Tweezers. Tweezers, let me see those. I'm using the one that is nylon based because it doesn't hurt at all when Ooh, I'm yes, manipulating, but you can use a metal one too. By the way. I like this one a lot. Yeah, they're handy. By the way, Shahar, Paola says, hello girls, hey. nice to see you again. Welcome. Cool. Awesome. Kay. So we start we with do this? the head. The head. Okay. So what you're going to do is uh, you, 
think about an inch and right, right now actually if you're if you of course you're watching this online uh, focus here because it's very easy to forget the process of the head so pay attention it's not difficult at all but it's easy to forget so about an inch i pinch <laughs> that wasn't really a joke it was just it just rhymed but okay <laughs> that's okay so about an inch you pinch and then what you do we are going to start uh, forming the nose or the Muzzle? Nose, mm -hmm. nose, mm. Muzzle? There we go again. Yes. So <laughs> that part that is right yeah, in the middle the of the face. Works. So what I do is I go around three times, creating that muzzle. Muzzle? Nuzzle. Nose. Beverly said, just caught you. Love you from Australia. Welcome, Ooh, Beverly. Beverly. She was here last week. Mm -hmm. So I did three times, and this is what I have so far. Take a look. Very simple. Okay, now I'm going to start as if I were going to do the same again, but instead I pass under my nose or the nose of my bear, then on the side, and then I give a tiny pinch. I do this with my hand all the time, but if you want to have a perfect pinch twist, you do with the, with the tweezers. Now I put something round, can be anything, because it's going to help me shape my ear. I'm going to be moving this uh, quite a bit, so it doesn't, you can do this later if you want. I give another pinch, so let's see where we are so far. I have the nose, and I have one of my ears. I did a pinch, I do the same with the other. Most bears, they do have two ears. So I do the same, rounding that. And I have two ears here, so a nozzle and the two ears. Now, now that I have that, I'm going to go under again, over. It's muzzle. Muzzle, okay, muzzle. So see, I went under and then on the side of my nose, Now I go to the back, bring to the front again, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay? And go to the back. Now here in the back, uh, I have the, the pipe cleaner crossing. So one thing that is good to do is insert your needle tool to bring this forward so I can easily insert my pipe cleaner here and go through. So what I'm doing here is really securing. And we may do another if you guys think you need. Uh, we can do another in a second. Okay, so technically, here's my teddy bear face. What I do with my tweezer is I press a little bit the nose so I have that shape that I'm going for for a bear. Okay, I also press the two, remember I cross once here and once here. So now I'm putting them together, so later I can insert the eyes without any problems. And you can adjust now the ears, so it's a good idea to put them here again. You don't wanna show uh, a hole, but you want to adjust. And here in the back, if you think it's too flat, Guess what you do? You come with the needle too, and you adjust as well, creating more volume to that little head here. Okay? So for now, we are going to leave this aside, but this is the, the teddy bear face. What is cool here is at this point, you really cannot tell this is the, where this is, the face is. You really cannot tell it is pipe cleaners, and that's what is super cool about it. Wait, Ashley. I'm, I'm, I'm unflattening I'm my... I'm asking her to show it over here on the close-up. Okay. There we go. So you're I'm just make, adjusting... You're the muzzle protrude a little more. I'm actually working on the back. Oh, sorry, the back. <laughs> <laughs> the nose is fine, okay? Marisol says hi, waves hey, hi. Hey, Marisol. Hello. Okay, so here I go. I have my face. Ooh, face.
face. Itty bitty face. I like the itty bitty one. Itty bitty, itty bitty. Look at that. That's just the face right it now. It was an itty bitty thing in the time back. bikini. Na, 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 for the first time today. today. Okay. Okay. So, good. We have a face. Now, a another pipe face. cleaner. You, half of it, cut. You put it in, in half and cut. Half and cut. Half and cut. So now I put them together. And Beverly says, I will have to try this today. It's different than the other one. Yes, yes. exactly. So show her again. Beverly, if you missed it, check out how cute this is. Put look with the this. big one that we and showed before. Yes, look at the size difference. Look at that. Beverly, was, so, it, was it her that she, you made a bunch of them and you, and you took to a show or a bazaar? Let us know. Look and, at that. and let us know how it did. And these are cute. So I, see, the, the difference is huge. Cute. These are cuter, I think. Yeah. And look, look at the sophisticated, like they look more sophisticated. See, like the with the little hat. Oh, look at this one. What's Our what director says be? he looks like a gangster. Yeah. Like ah. a mafia a mafia leader. My name is Mayflower. Mayflower. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So now what you do is you fold this in half. Pinch with your finger, okay? And twist twice. So you're securing the circle, but you still have some loose ends here. So you just did it twice. Now what you do is you open and try to find the middle here. I'm creating the arms. So mine just undid, see? Let's do it again. One, two. Uh, you're creating the arms, so it's very easy to have them in different sizes, so make sure you have the same size. Once you did that, just twist the whole thing. This is how you're making the bear not look like pipe cleaners. It really looks like a normal miniature bear. Wilma said, so cute. Welcome, yeah. Wilma. And Beverly said, yes, it was her. Uh -huh. And it was so cold, there was no one around. I'll wait ah. till summer. Okay, yeah, that happens. It happens. That happens. Okay, and then summer, everybody's traveling. And then <laughs> summer, everyone good. is traveling. Oh, boy. So here's the other part. I'm going to do exactly the same. So remember, I put them together. I pinch, so more or less, it's the width of my finger, right? And I go one, two, just to secure this part. And sometimes it doesn't. You go a third time. Let me see. I undid everything here. One, two, three. You just want not to twist everything. That's all you're looking for. And then you go and try to find the middle so both sides are the same size. Here is usually where you make a mistake, really. So it's that simple. Now twist and twist. Okay, now I'm going to, so I have here my, the feet and I have here the hands. I'm going to put them together and secure them. Okay, so, so what I just created, besides securing the, f the feet and the hands, is I created part of my body here, okay? Isn't that, this is super simple, I'm telling you. Okay, so I have the body, this is it, the body, okay? Now I come with that, remember the head? Now, let's suppose that you're making this and you end up not having enough. And this is going to happen. I'm going to wrap here. I'm not going to have enough to, to end. But sometimes the whole thing gets a little bigger than I really don't have. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry now. All you do is insert another pipe cleaner. And this will really impact the size of your teddy bear. So if you look at mine, So I just pinch it, okay? If you look at mine, this one and this one have different sizes, even though they are done exactly the same. And that happens because? Exactly at this moment here. Mm -hmm. If I manage to work just with what I have left over, I will have the tiny, tiniest of all. If you don't, you come with another one. So let's see where you go. So I put my head, so I have two pipe cleaners, I put one to the front, one to the back, and then with this one in the back, I come and I wrap it around, okay? And I really don't have 
enough to do the whole go around thing. So I'm going to make a bigger tummy for my guy, which I like a lot. I, I really like the teddy bears when they have more of a big tummy. Okay, so now I can come again. I insert the pipe clean. I have to find now where to insert here, okay? And I do the same thing. I go around and around. So I, I'm creating that cute chubby tummy. When I get here to the bottom, I go now in a straight line. So I, I was rounding this up all the time, right? Now I'm going to just go around the shoulder and you kind of tie this a little bit. You don't want it loose. Now you tie around the other shoulder. So in the back you have exactly the same. See that is filling up so it's not going to look like a pipe cleaner. And I go on the front. Now here's the thing. Ideally I will pinch this to the back and it will go. Sometimes it's hard to do that, so you can go around the neck and go to the back. But you see that this one works just fine. And that, that's the end of it. I now just have to insert my pipe cleaner on a place that is not going to undo, so right below the legs would be ideal. And you just insert. Just to hide it and secure it. And secure it, okay? By the way, Shahar, and just sent little um, love emo emoji. Oh, good. Yes. And Mirna said, será muy divertido hacerlo. Gracias. Yes, so much fun to do. You're going to love it. Te vas a adorar así de sí. esos. Entonces, <laughs> here I have. It's basically ready. Now a few things we have to do. So what I do with all, so I do think chubbier uh, make cuter bears than very slim. So I put them sitting on my mat and I do some pressure from the neck up. See, so the tummy comes up and the bottom also comes. The bottom. The bottom is so pretty. Then I look if I need to twist more or my arms, okay? And now I'm ready to position them, okay? Then you pinch the feet so it can stay on its own. I mean, it doesn't stand by itself, but then you have. See? So now, technically, we have a bear. Ooh, we have a bear. But it's not ready. That's okay. Let me show them the progress. Look at this little guy. Can we say cute? Well, hi I'm there. so cute. He's so terrible. I have a tummy. Oh, look at me. And oh. a little tush. Oh, look at that tush. That's kind of cute. That's very cute. <laughs> Here he is from behind. Uh-huh. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Let me get some eyes so I can see you. <laughs> okay, so here is the, the point, really, that if you're thinking of giving this as a gift or, or a sell, you are going to spend some time making sure all details are right. So, for example, I like to press, just a sec, I like to press a little bit here. Aye. Ouch! Oh, you're a chiropractor. My back feels so much better. <laughs> what? Uh, by the way, Mara said... So many possible gift-giving ideas for these darling bears. Think exactly. about this. Uh, so a few things that were crossing my mind while I was making it because I didn't have time to, to do everything I wanted. So first of all, dress them and put beautiful hats. Uh, I love to combine needle felting, and you can make everything with wool. But you can also use crochet pieces that you make for them and ribbons and stuff like that. So they make adorable gifts. And, okay, can I say what I... Yeah, I know I what you're going to say. So this is what we wanted to do before the show today. We just didn't have the time. But the cool thing about these is that they're small. Small enough to become jewelry. Mm -hmm. So a fun thing to do is you just get a necklace cord and you put it so it looks like he's sitting onto a swing and attach it to his little hands. And now you have an adorable necklace that you can wear and everyone is going to love. So let's just pretend because I made several of those. We are going to pretend, okay? Just pretend. This is pipe cleaner, not a cord. So you have a cord for a necklace. The tiny bear comes here, okay? And you bend the, the legs like if he was sitting 
on a swing. There's a music with that. And then on the hands, you press. So the hands actually secure the necklace. The necklace, right? So here he is. You can create the knee here. And of course, now it's going to go. And then now, of course, this would be. Ah, there you go. So, see, just for you to see the close up of him sitting here. So he's like. Stronger, stronger. See? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, but look, check it out. Then you wear it, and it's an adorable necklace. It's adorable. I mean, you're going to see me wear this in an upcoming uh, show for sure. Uh, you have your fox, right? The, the fox the was fox. all needle done in needle felting, but it, the fox is almost falling apart. But ever, and you I have, love it. have and had it, that for three years or so, at, at least, least, right? And everyone every on single it. person, every single person. Now, if you make this into a necklace, how much could you sell this for? Yes, um, I, I would be around at least for uh, twenty-five. Okay. For the bears, uh, this make amazing gifts to young people, but. Gifts. I, I would wear a bear but like I that mean, any day. As far as how much your investment is yes. on the pipe cleaner yeah, and maybe exactly. the bead and that's it. Less than, yeah. less than four bucks. Yeah, on everything. Super cool. So super cool. Uh, of course, they can make three ornaments. So let's suppose you give, like Shailene yesterday on her show said that she gives uh, gifts at Christmas for all the neighbors. Uh -huh. uh, if you live in a big <laughs> street, this is perfect. But don't don't forget that the more you sophisticate these bears, uh, they will be more valuable to the point that you you will be able to sell them as one of a kind and put the price even up after that, right? So now I'm going to get, forgot my bead mat that I love, but this will work. So now I'm going to add the nose. Like I told you, this is a good moment uh, to make a nose in, with embroidery floss. It will look better than the bead. And I'm using fast grab tacky glue for such a tiny creation. I don't want to use hot glue because it's going to mess up. And if I mess up the where I put here, I can correct. I'm using the normal one that is white, but once it dries, you don't see. You can also use the other one. So and I have the like, nose. Ah, so sweet. Yeah. Now, before I put my eyes, Ow. remember that, ah, don't poke me. Uh, remember that with bears, the eyes, they are not only small, they are always very close to their nose, right? It's, it's a thing with bears. So when the eyes are poking, they don't look as good. So make sure you press the wire here for, from the pipe cleaner. So you kind of can put them in the right position on both sides. It's very easy here that they get crooked and then you have to rework. So I put just the bottom with the glue and I put close to the nose and I try to go inside as much as possible. Same thing with the other side. This kind of little things like making the eyes go a little inside, being close to the nose, they are going to make for a more realistic bear. On the ones we did before, we were not looking for that, right? We were looking for cute, whimsical, something fun. Okay. So take your time to adjust so you kind of have them both on the same place. For me, at this moment, for example, I would be wearing some kind of magnifier because <laughs> it's hard to see. Another thing that I like to do, let me see if I'm in the right place. I go with a pair of scissors and I take a little bit Ooh, of the mu muzzle. Muzzle. Okay. Mu and it will make not so much that the wire starts showing and use a very nice pair of scissors for that because or else it's going to work like this one. So you adjust, and you can spend your time here sculpting a little bit so it gets really rounded or, or very prominent. You have both types of bears, right? Okie dokie. Now let's put, are you ready? I'm ready. For what? Let's put the paws. The paws. Wait, can I show them? Yes. Since now he has eyes and, and an actual nose. Oh, look at those little guys. I'm looking so cute already. I am so cute. I, I think I need a coat. I could chop on his butt. Uh -huh. So cute. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. okay. What are we going to do now? The pause. Pause. So now I'm wait, going to wait, get wait. what? By what? The way, by what? The way, what? You might be asking, where can I get such cool pipe cleaners? <laughs> and also the needle felting needles that she's going to see. The foam, later. the, and the foam needle pad, felting needle with uh, the handle. And the little, um, how do you call those? Uh, nylon tweezers. The nylon tweezers. They're fantastic. Mondomarkettv.com. That's where you go. Got great, great promo price going on during the next 24 hours. So just go there, Mondo Market TV, to get your supplies of pipe cleaners and uh, everything Foam. that you see that here that we're using. And look how cute these can be. It felt. Everybody felt. Up. Okay. <laughs> so I need some wool. Wool. So I get just it's, it's just a tiny just bit. Just like a tiny little bit. I always like to kind of pre-felt with my fingers. It just make it, makes it easier, especially when it's hot as it is here, if it, it, it felt fast, so it's easy to make. And I start poking. Watch your fingers. So you poke a little bit on one side, not too much, and a little bit on the other side. Guys, if you have questions, ask. 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 Okay. Now I come to the bottom of the feet here, and I'm going to Put this on the foam, and I'm going to needle felt this here. By the way, are you out there? Like, comment, and share where you're watching, and you might just get a little teddy at the end. Yeah, if there are no comments, there's no giveaway. <laughs> okay, so I did a, a little bit here. Now you see when I go to the other side, the fur, uh, the fiber will come out. I just have to felt back again. If it comes too much and you have a, a, a fiber that is the same color as the bear, you can add on top too and you avoid, it's less work, okay? So you're going to do this for a little bit until it's very well secure here. It doesn't take long, but I'm going to stop before the optimum point. And I prepped some here, let me put, this one's too big. Just to give it it that makes touch. well. The thing is, now you're adding different colors. Uh, it becomes more realistic. You have depth of field on, you know, on the paws, on the hands. So it just makes for a better teddy bear. So here is where I'm saying, oops, mm -hmm. I'm telling you that it, then the price starts increasing in the when you're thinking about selling, because it, it requires more work and it, it's more sophisticated. It's cute. So cute. Okay. So you got the idea. I need to spend some time here. Of course, it doesn't felt as easy as if <laughs> it got again close. Nothing. It just got picked up by the foam twice. Oh. <laughs> so let me felt this one. I'm not going to do the hands just for the sake of time. But you or got can the you idea. Just show us the positioning on the hands if it's Yeah, different. sure. Let me let me see. If it doesn't take a though we have a lot of time, right? Yeah, I, good, I was worried so about good. the time. Jerry said, oh. Uh -huh. And I don't need to tell you how addicting it is, right? My office right now has all types of pipe cleaner creatures. I have more bears than Yellowstone. <laughs> so it doesn't stop. I actually, next time I come with pipe cleaners, I'm actually going to show you how to make a movable teddy bear. What about Ooh, that? What? Just like, that, like the ones joints? you would, yes. Wow. What about that? This size. Wilma said so many projects, not even. I know. <sighs> Tell me about it. We were talking about this this morning, right, Nash? That it's just not enough time for everything we need to do and all the projects in the head yes that they need to come out or they drive you crazy <laughs> okay so here's one of the hands it's same thing I got some I put on the inside and I needle felt and there comes your hand and since just no one, one is missing hand but you uh, but I see it <laughs> my nose is falling that's not good. Huh. Hi. I think I'm going to sneeze. Huh. I always Achy! I always do a little felting on the foam first because the, the pipe cleaner is a synthetic, right? So it doesn't felt 
a lot at all. What is felting is really going back and forth like I'm doing now. Uh, I'm felting the wool and it grabs the, the fibers of the pipe cleaner, but the pipe cleaner itself is not going to felt. So here you go. I need to always put your needle on the foam. Don't leave it around. It can cause serious <laughs> injuries. Okay, <laughs> let me do it again. You got some glue there. I got some glue Put there. Put a little bit on. Little uh, fast grab tacky glue. Why? Because it, it, it's supposed to dry in less than 15 minutes. So if I use any other type of glue and I'm working on the little guy, it starts falling apart. Okay, so basically I have all that I need for uh, my teddy bear, but I want to do some shading. So this okay. is what I do. I get, wait, 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 wait. wait. don't move. Don't, don't do anything. So Sheila asks. Ask Sheila. What fiber are you using? Uh, oh, good question, Sheila. Get, look at this. I'm using 100% wool. That's okay. the main thing that you have to think when you felt. But I'm using a, a cross bat. And what is a cross bat? When you look at this fiber here, see, you don't see the direction of the fiber, right? No. No. Let's so, over here. Oh, there you go. You had to get <laughs> it. So you don't see the direction of the fiber, which means that the fiber is entangled one to the other. So it makes very, very easy to felt, felt, very fast to felt. Cross bedding, uh, and don't ask me, it's the process before they do the roving when you actually see the direction of the fiber. So if you have roving at home, can you use it? Yes, you can. It's just more work because, because since you have the, the fibers all going in one direction, what is the first thing that you're going to have to do? Mesh, mesh them a little bit so they felt. Okay, so that's the difference. So for needle felting, I'm always using the cross bat that you have in all types of colors. Don't forget also, Sheila, that we're using pipe cleaners as the body of yes, the bear. Yes. Pipe cleaners. If you didn't see us making this, you need to rewatch. Re it's worth it. Because it's awesome. It, yeah, they are awesome. So now all I need is to have some more details okay so this is when i come with my pan i'm using a watercolor uh, pan it's it, you use for uh, people use this a lot for scrapbooking and memory books and stamping because they are awesome but they they work really well in other projects so i have one that is more of a brush and another one that looks like any pan out there and what i'm going to do is create the inside of the ear oh. Gives it a little dimension. Uh, can I do this with fiber? Yeah, you yes. can. Yeah, you can. But see oh, how fast it, it is. everything. Yeah, it does. And this, it stays, this marker, it'll stay on? Yes, it will stay. Uh, I can make here the split of the nose. Uh -huh. And I can even do, do some light shading on the body. So it looks more like uh, an tickles. older... <laughs> I can do this, so I'm I'm creating some shading, and then with a pen, with a what is this? A that brush. That is a brush. I put it on some water, and look what happens. The moment Ooh. I bring here, it will start spreading the color, and when it dries, it's it's going to to look like it belongs to the fur. Ah. So nice places to do this. It also hides the pipe cleaner joints. It hides even more. The, the right? seams. Uh, the side common place that you do this, and it, it kind of becomes more of a vintage bear, right? Uh, you can do around the paws, and they look really good when you do that. So you do just a little bit, and it's so tiny that most of the time you don't need to blend at all, but you can. So then I come with my wet brush and go around and make adjustments as you need. And now you guys have an adorable, adorable little itty bitty. This paw needs a little bit more felting. So let me do that. What are you looking at? At your bear, it's so adorable. It is. There you go. Oh, let's see this guy. Huh? Super cute, and you have to see him too. Look at this. Can we say cute? It's cute. 
Very cute. Now spend your time in the details. So how the felt? Yeah, look at the difference in the size here. And it's the same technique. It's exactly the same. So but look at him with the other one that's going to become my necklace. Hint, hint. Look at that. See, there you go. Now you add a scarf. You add a oh, hat. Yes. You now put you a have dress, fun, really. And then you have fun. Simple things, even like let me see if I have any fiber here. Oh, look at his tummy, so cute. So for example, if you want to give the guy a scarf. Okay, what do you okay, do? You felt with your hands a little bit of... Speeds up the process a bit. Yeah. Well, that's all I'm going to do. And then I come, is this the new guy? The new guy, no, this oh. is the new guy, the 80... Okay. Aha! Oh. Aha! Hmm. Mm, who is the new guy? <laughs> who is the new guy in town? The new guy Up in town. Up girl. She's been living this, in This, I think, is the new you guy don't in town. Know. <laughs> no, I think it's this one. Which one was the smaller one? The new or the old? They are very similar in size. But see, I just felt it with my hands, and then I could come. That's what I did with the blue one. I added a winter scarf on that guy. And you can make it go into one side. Oh, look at this. Shereen Nielsen said, adorable. Adorable. And Jake, Jake, Jacob Jennings. Hi, he said, Jake. Oh, a, little, a little heart emoji. And we miss you. We have to stop by. We totally miss you. You need to see my trailer. Oh, yes. You yes. Do. Uh, he said, massively precious. Also, I spy a new backdrop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to come see the changes. Hey, look at this. All right, this little guy. Oh, with a scarf. Perfect. Mm? Look at this. This is super simple. But, yes. you know, there is a teddy bear artist in the UK called Melanie. Mm. And she makes amazing teddy bears. Uh, she needle felt the, the nozzle. Nozzle, is that? Muzzle. Muzzle. <laughs> I will get that someday. Someday. So, it's amazing. But then, after she does that, she makes these gorgeous hats with flowers. And this morning when I was working on my mafia lady, I thought, man, <laughs> something like that would make this amazing, right? And you can do that with felt. You know, you needle felt the, the bottom, you put, then you put some tiny beads or, or even uh, needle felt the tiny flowers and there you go. Mm-hmm. Right? Exactly. Now, now, why do I have this box here? Is it, um, they were joking. <laughs> Can I say? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Our director was joking that it looked like a little, we were having a funeral for this little guy. Check it out. Because on the inside of these boxes, these boxes are awesome. But it has this, and she had him like this. And then he dun, had all the, dun, he had dun, all the dun, other bears dun, next to dun, it dun, having dun, a viewing. Dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> so here, here's one thing that is happening that is actually a good thing to show. Mm. So the, the whoa came to the top here, see? So oh, I don't yeah. have anything in the back. Of course, I can keep needle felt in this, but think why this happened. It's because I have the, my, my leg here, needs some more twisting and putting the pipes together. So it closes that gap, and that's why it went to the other side. Now I can come here and put it again. By the way, guess it should be fine. said, these guys are so cute. They are, they are tiny, they are tiny. Okay, there you go. So things you cannot survive without. Pipe cleaner, teddy A lot bears. of them because it, they go fast. And it's addicting. It's addicting. Uh, a needle felting foam because you use it so many times in so many situations. And this is the perfect size for this because oh, it's not too carry big, it's everywhere. not too small. Yes. It's portable. Mm -hmm. awesome. I carry everywhere. I have all sizes, but this one, I use it a lot. You can see, mine is super used. Let's show the super used. Super used. One. Look how super yeah, used it's, it is. Yeah, it's already <laughs> at the moment that, hey, it even can somebody at Mondo Market give me another one, <laughs> please? Right? I'm the one making all the samples here. Please. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. And then, of course, a needle felt in needle. Now these uh, the needles. work horse. You wait. Hold your horses. This is called a working the work horse. horse. <laughs> it's the, the <laughs> I think, the 36. But it comes with a handle, so it makes my life a lot easier, Easy. less stressful on my 
hands. Because here, check back this out. Coffee. With this one, this you can use this. Shahar uses it a lot. However, it's hard to hold on to it. Like, look, if you see here in my hand, um, you have to hold it like this. And sometimes you might, if your joints hurt, it's just after a while, it's really hard. This, however, gives you a better grip. You can hold on to this. You know, you can really hold it like a pencil. Just makes it so much easier to do your needle felting with it. So uh, this is the needle felting needle with the handle. And it comes, if you go to modelmarkettv.com, you'll see it comes with the handle and it comes with one needle. And the cool thing about it is you can change your needle. So if you have different sizes or a different style of needle, you just pull it out and then you detach it from here, just like so. And then um, you can put it in your handle. So it works with different needle sizes, which makes it fantastic for that reason and it doesn't hurt your joints. So I highly recommend this, mondomarkettv.com. And if you need more needles, you can go there too and just get the three pack that we have and you get more of the workhorse needles because you go through these a lot, mm -hmm. especially if you break them. If, if you're starting with needle felting, it might happen, you might break a few. Yeah. Just remember what Shahar always says, the direction it goes in, it comes out. It comes out. That's if you the go trick. in this way and you decide to change directions as you're in there, you'll break it. Now, it's a cool thing about this guy here. Let me see if this is the same I have. No. The, there, we have one that actually you can uh, put the needles here to store them. But you break one, you just change. Yeah, exactly. So you keep the same handle forever, right? Now, mm. imagine that you have a friend, mm. and your friend is going through a tough time. Maybe he broke with a boyfriend, mm. maybe he lost a job, mm. maybe, you know... Just smooth out there in depression, uh, you know, not, 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 not a good moment. <laughs> okay. And then you say, hey, I thought of you. I hope this makes you feel better. Oh, thank you. And then you open. So precious. Uh -huh. Look at this. No, all right, then my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, look how cute. I mean, it look changes everything, right? Look, comes in a little gift box. Yeah, I just put some wool just there. Just for you to see. And then here you have a little teddy. A miniature so teddy bear. miniature teddy. And he has a little bed. Yeah. Yes. And they cannot even tell it's pipe cleaners. No. And right? it's super cute. Awesome gift. Actually, this was the the one we were going to make your necklace. This Which is one? the This is the new one. Which one's this, the new one? This one. Okay. Oh. Well, so you see, huh. very easy to make. Now, tell me which one you like the best. So mm. now in the, in the, I don't know how far ago it was, about a month ago, we did the, these little guys here. They're super fun to make, no question about it. But now we went to the intermediate level. We created a more sophisticated bear that is a tiny, tiny miniature. There you go. Let me know. Which one is your favorite from, from what? From now, from today, yes. or in comparison the to the first ones that we did? Yes, in comparison to the... F well, hmm. they're very different. They are right? very different. Look. Two different styles. Two different styles. You see it there. Yeah. They're, they're all adorable. Uh, Mirna said, Gracias por el hermoso trabajo. <laughs> Mi placer. And uh, Beverly said, This one. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that... Yeah, the new ones, right? I want to see yours, Beverly. I yeah. Know. Yeah, 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 totally. And then, since we have 10 minutes, I want to show you uh, this one. Just, I'm go just going to explain to you the difference when you're creating the head. This is the, this is the one Paola liked the most, she said. Okay. So panda. I have one here that I'm going to finish. And when I finish on this guy here, I'm actually going to embroider the nose. Ooh, I think, show yeah, us how. well. It's one step up, okay? Oh, yes. But Always plus. But you are going to start the same way you did. So you pinch about an inch. <laughs> okay? You like saying that, don't I you? I like. <laughs> then you go three times. So this is all the same. Okay, one. And if you missed, now is your chance to review part of it. Two. Three, right? Just like we did on the first one. And then we go as if we were going to make another one and go to the back. Sheila said she loves the little ones. Yes, they are gorgeous. And Wilma said she loves today's minis. Uh -huh. Aha! Now you come with the black one. So I stopped here, right? So in the other one, I, I continue making the, the years, correct? Here I stop. I insert the black one, leave it here 
go to the back, then I do the same thing. I go around the neck, then I do one ear, so I go around, pinch on both sides, and then I go around on the other side and do the same. And the, the panda can have a bigger ear, so you decide how big you want it to be. Okay, so you did both. Now, I'm going to insert this guy through the muzzle. Linda said she really likes the new ones, very yes. cute. Next time I come with the pipe cleaners, I'll show you how to make a movable teddy bear. What? Okay, so I went over the ears now, and then I go, same thing I did with the white, over to the back, cross, over to the back, leave there. So what I just did was create the, the spot for those two uh, black spots that they have on the face. You don't, if you don't want, if you think it's too complicated, uh, you can leave white and then paint with, uh, with uh, uh, the pen, okay? And look at another thing. Look how cool it will look on a two-color bear anyway. Super cute. So, so let's suppose the whole bear is black Let with a white... Here. No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> with a white no, uh, muzzle. It would look super cute. So now I just told you how to make a two-color bear, right? But now with my white one, I'm going to go around the neck, and I'm going to go over the face, but I leave some black showing, cross, do the same thing on the other side, and then I have oh, to look yes. if I need more white because there is too much black, I go around. That looks way cool huh? already. Super cool. By the way, Elfin Creation said, I would never have thought you could needle felt on a pipe cleaner. Yeah, you, you, it cool, doesn't huh? felt, but you're grabbing the it's fibers, like so it's, it's, it ends up You're needle felting around sticking. it, like yeah. taking over it. And then, and then at some point it sticks all together. So now I kind of have that face. I could add more white here if I want, or I can just pull. So you decide how much black you want on this guy. I'm actually thinking it needs a little bit more white here. I can come later as well and decide that, okay? But you have the face when you put the eyes. Yeah, let me do something here because I'm really not happy with the result. So I'm putting it out. Come to mama. It's hot in here. It's not coming out. Yeah, not going to happen. So what I'm going to do, instead of messing my, my boy here, I am going to come. Oh, I know what happened. What happened? I, ha I, I went around the, the nose and it fell. That's why I have less white than I need. Okay, now, now you're talking. Okay, so now I have... I can come and pull, remember you will use your needle tool also to pull the, the nose out. Work on that, I'm not going to do that now because the, te the panda tends to have a bigger, it's not bigger like a bear that can go this way, but it's a, a little larger, right? And then of course work on the ears, pull the, them to the right place. And the body is exactly the same what you're going to do is you make the, the arms black, right? The arms and the legs black. You go around here. When you come to feel more, you come with white. And then you have the white body. Let me know if this is confusing. Is this confusing to you? I understood. OK, that good. Was good. Good. So, so Shahar, <clears throat> oops. Any final, any final things you'd like to leave our well, friends with today? I had fun making this for at least two days. Yes. Uh, it, it is really fun. It shows you one step up of what you learned before. Not that those are not super cute. I keep making them because I can make them now in, I don't know, maybe two minutes or so. Uh, so I crank them and I live in <laughs> places. But with this, I'm actually thinking, okay, I'm going to make some necklaces with the small ones like this because they're going to be just adorable. So if you sell on a place like Etsy or the bazaars and stuff and you put it out there, now you're selling a miniature 
it is handmade. And if you, if you dress, if you put hats, it really becomes one of a kind. It can, yes. it can go higher, but it's a, it would sell really well with it's necklaces, adorable. right? Yes. Uh, and, and as gifts as well, because you can get ready and whatever is the occasion. You know, so there are times, for example, that you go meet somebody and you're sitting down and you remember it was their birthday two days ago. Uh, oh. That happens to all of us. Sometimes. Well, if you have a box with one gift, oh, look what I bought for your birthday. <laughs> See, and you're out of a hot water situation, just hot like that. Hot water situation. Hot water situation. Uh, Jerry said, the tiny teddy bear picnic time. I uh -huh. love the little bears. Yes. They're super adorable. So are, are we going to draw one? Yes. Yeah, so... Let's see. By the way, Angel said that she understood the, the instructions. So oh, good. Good. Be because that can be confusing. All right. So lucky winner is, I just got here a note from my director, Angel Reinders. Congratulations. You Yay. are the lucky winner. Send us an email to info at mondomarkettv.com with your mailing address, and we'll get a little teddy sent out to you. Oh, now. Nice. Well, why don't one? we let her... Choose. All right, you pick. You have, you have like a minute or two to, sh to choose? All or? of them, except for the one that's going to be my little necklace. <laughs> Let's see, you've got, I'll put, there's some over here that you can choose from. Uh, I'll show them over here. For you, there is this little guy right here, you know, the little blue guy with this. Put him there. What else, what else, what else? There's this little guy. Oops. He's cute. I like how you put the embellishment on yeah. the front. And so let us know. The, let, those are simple ones because sometimes I sit down on my studio and I don't want to go anywhere in my studio other than everything that is close to the, to the table, to where I'm sitting. So I grab whatever is around. And just put it there. And I put it and say, oh, so Andrew, I think it would look good. Let us know which one you want, okay? Yes. All right, Shahar. So, so don't forget, guys. We're here live every Thursday for you. We start at 2 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. That's 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. We're live right here, Mondo Market TV, for uh, for your sparkle of creativity show. Don't forget, go to MondoMarketTV.com right now to take advantage of the promo that we have. Get your pipe cleaners for these adorable teddy bears. Get these fantastic fantastically sized uh, foam pads for needle felting as well as your needle felt your needles for your needle felting with the handle with the handle now these are really really cool so mondomarkettv.com do that right now and we'll see you here next week next thursday for another episode of your sparkle of creativity bye bye see ya i'll have a arm <laughs> next time